Hello, thank you so much for joining us today uh, with the conversation for the McE. Uh, look who's back. <laughs> uh, we're happy that my wife, uh, uh, um, Dr. Bernadine Bell McE, has joined us on today. And um, she's going to really have a lot to say today. Uh, today, we decided to talk about uh, celebrating joy in the time of crisis. Celebrating joy. Joy is a very vital part of our healing, of our emotion, um, of, of our getting through every circumstance and situation. In fact, now we normally don't share scriptures, we just talk. But on today in uh, Nehemiah, the eighth chapter, and the tenth verse, it says, um, Then he said unto them, Go your way. Eat the fat and drink the sweet, and send portions unto them for whom nothing is prepared. For this day is holy unto the Lord. Neither be ye sorrow, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Amen. And so uh, we, we, we're still in a situation. You know, Absolutely. We're, we're still Absolutely going through a crisis, but uh, do you agree that that shouldn't deprive us of joyful times and joyful experiences? Absolutely. Joy is derivative of a divine joy. It's a divine principle, and it's derivative of a divine giver. So that's why the scripture says that the joy of the Lord is our strength. And so it is, it's amazing that in the interim of a, a, a deficit or a virus or a pandemic, that those that have their joy rooted in the foundations of uh, God's word uh, in something deeper than just surface, uh, we yet remain joyful and hopeful because we are victorious. That's our name. Our last name is Victory. So and yes. so, um, so would you concur with the fact that it has a lot to do with how we focus our mind and what we focus our mind on? Uh, we hear a lot of bad news, yeah. but you know, in order to get excited or to have joy, we have to refocus. And uh, I don't know if you all been uh, meeting my wife on Wednesday night, seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. It's called Reset Moment. And she's just been talking about resetting your life, resetting your thinking, you know, resetting your emotions, your intention. Uh, so do you honestly believe that uh, we, we've been talking, using the word a lot, intentional and deliberate. Do you think we have to be intentional in order to have joy? Absolutely. I think joy is definitely a beautiful emotion. And anything that's beautiful, there's always an ugly side that comes to attack it. Uh, there is, we cannot deny the fact that uh, there is depression, there's a lot of mental health issues that has uh, attracted itself to our joy. And joy is something that it's not, it is a feeling, it's a byproduct, but more than that, it is a disciplined mind where you put your mind over the matter that you can't just wait for joy to come, you have to take it on. He will give us the spirit of, of laughter and joy for the spirit of heaviness. So it's something that we have to use intentionality uh, with. It's a principle. And, and would you also yes. go, uh, want to say, that is needful for us to survive. Absolutely. At Absolutely. some point, we got to laugh. Absolutely. The Bible says that laughter does the heart good like a medicine. And so, so many of us and so many people um, don't show their pearly whites or their... They don't have a joyful she, she spirit. She's talking about me. She, no, 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 I, no. I'm really, I'm just saying that joy is a spirit too. And I, I always like to talk about joyous things. I'm very energetic and I like to bring the energy in the universe or especially in my world. And so it, it's an uplifter. It's a buffer between depression and sadness, so it keeps us, and if you can keep your joy, you can keep your strength. If you can keep your strength, then you can win the battle. And it actually gives you hope. Absolutely, absolutely. After you even feel like you lost hope. Absolutely, yes. 
Absolutely. Well, we're especially excited because my wife has been gone uh, for a couple of weeks, and it's a joy. It is a joy. To have her here today. Um, we've been on baby wait, uh, baby watch, and the baby finally came. Yay! Yes. <laughs> baby finally yes. came. And so, um, why don't you introduce our fifth grandbaby? Our fifth grandbaby, Rel, <gasps> and our, our second granddaughter. Uh, we'll talk about all of them, but since this is the newest little princess, her name is Blair Nova McGee. Thank God she was born uh, just this week, yeah. May, 5th, May, 18th, May, May 18th, right, six pounds and nine ounces, and uh, she's our second baby girl granddaughter. We are just ecstatic about her, and what we're really grateful to is the Lord has just blessed her during this pandemic season. Thank God that uh, she's free from the virus. Uh, it's not so uh, favorable in everybody's testimony, but we're grateful uh, that the blood of Jesus has uh, watched and kept even my daughter in love and my son and the family. So we're just grateful that she's here. She's healthy. And uh, I can't wait until this session, session is over so we can go and see her. Yeah, we're going to see her. Um, and so Blair is our second second granddaughter, granddaughter. and the first one is Boston Joy. Boston We're talking Joy. about Joy today, Boston Joy, Boston which Joy. is our two-year-old, and she is two years old. Oh my God! <laughs> but you know what? Boston needs a little more Jesus. Would y'all please yeah. pray for my grandbaby? She needs some more Jesus. But <laughs> did you tell uh, mention that? Her name was derived from my daughter. From my daughter, because so we, we're talking about joy today. Right. So, I, what, what many, many, many years ago, we had our first daughter many, many, many moons ago. But nonetheless, her her, her name is Tiff Joy. Tiffany Joy is her name, but you know she's known. She's a great artist, Tiff Joy. And then uh, our set, first granddaughter, Boston. Her name uh, it was she was named a second name, middle name rather was after our daughter middle name so that's boston joy and uh and it came from tiffany joy. tiffany joy right tiff joy yes so we're just uh, we're just trying to keep the joy going on amen we're just trying well, to keep it no she she's moving. really trying to be modest today now when boston was born uh you know she got the little grandma my wife is really a nurture she's really a nurture for her grandchildren but i'm gonna just see something so when the boys come over she got this little cardboard pole that she said she's gonna whoop them with it's called it's like a little uh it's i call it the, the little uh discipline stick right. and the, all of their names are on it and it's just it's just the cutest little thing there. Yeah, Boston. Boston's name is on there. Trust me. We put, I think Tip Joy put it on there. We just have to include uh, Blair Nova now. She ain't going to do nothing to, to but what Boston we do, we, or Blair. She ain't going to do nothing. <laughs> Trust me. We get them. We really do. But it's just such a joy to have children and grandchildren. Who would have thought? Uh, you know, I remember when my mother uh, was 40. And I go, oh my God, my mother's getting so old and she started having grandchildren and here it is now. Look at history, it just repeats itself. So here we are now, we have like five and we just love them to life. We have the three boys. And the two and girls. The two girls and Trinity and is Trinity a beautiful, is yes. Added granddaughter, but I wanna give you all a little story about uh, uh, Brandon and his mother. So <laughs> when we were young, all we wanted was a boy and a girl, a boy and a girl. And so um, Byron was born, and then after boy, after girl, we just said, it's gonna be it, it's gonna be it, we ain't having no more. And so Berna, well, she was, oh my gosh, she was like really spiritual back in those days. I was <laughs> spiritual back in those days, really? No, like for real. Whatever, I'm gonna tell them how spiritual you was, you tore the scripture out oh, the I Bible. Did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and swallowed it, believing God that she was gonna have a little girl. Believing God that she was gonna have a little girl, but she had Brandon. But, the, but this is the uh, ironic part about that. Well, the funny part is after she had Brandon, she, I went into the room out there with all my kids. Do you remember you said, don't tell nobody? Yeah, I, yeah, it's been so long ago, but nonetheless, but, yeah. But, 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 but the, 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 the the wonderful part to this whole thing was 
it was predestined for us to have two boys Absolutely. and a girl. Absolutely, right. And so Brandon and Jasmine did the same thing. Remember at the Gianni, yeah. they wanted a girl. They did, yes. And some in my spirit, I said, I, I think Brandon is going to be like us. We wanted the girl the second time, but uh, we had another boy. And so God gave him the same thing that he Yeah, they followed you. along, you know. Yeah, sometimes yeah. it's genetic, you know. Yeah. It's, and, yeah. and so, you know, they both uh, they both have the, the the primary joy of their life, the little girl that they all wanted, and so. But you know what? I I just believe that there we always decide what we want to have or which we can have. But I believe there's purpose in everything that God does. There it is. It's a divine purpose, predestined purpose, and the legacy of of the promise is right. definitely embedded in God's timing. Because Brandon is very purposeful in our family. Very purposeful, very and creative. Just like, yes. Uh, uh what's his middle son? Grayson, Grayson yeah. is very purposeful Absolutely. in their family. Yes. And you know, even biblically there was there was always a blessing attached to the numbers, uh, the numeric system, whether the first, second, or third, or whatever, there was always a blessing on the lineage of, of that particular uh, family. And so I believe this, that God, he knows exactly what we need. We know what we want, but God has his own des predestined time, and he's certainly given us a great expected end with so, our children. So, so should we, not just in this area, but in, in every uh, um, situation just allow God to give us joy yes the way yes. he wants it absolutely, to. absolutely because there is a joy that we would have missed if, if we had just had a boy right. absolutely there's yes. a joy that they would have missed if grace him wasn't Abs born. yes you yes know? and God just has it where they had uh, a few uh, setbacks but when uh, uh, Byron, BJ. BJ, we call him BJ, but named after his dad. When BJ got here, it was a reason that that God blessed him to endure and to be born perfectly, the perfect little and, fellow. And, and BJ, Very BJ is number seven. Yeah, they had several miscarriages, they had, but, they had a few but miscarriages. God got that got him here. Purpose. Yes, purpose, absolutely. So there purpose. is a reason, and I believe even then Boston. So I believe that there is a a blessing over not just our children and grandchildren, but even your children and grandchildren. Yeah. I don't care what you see them doing, how they may not be walking straight uh, in the line that you've taught them, but the word tells us that when we train them up, there is a, a, a message, there is a uh, obligation not to just have them, but to raise them. Right. And so that is what one of the joys that we have is to be able to implement the word of God in, in their lives along with our children and yeah. our daughter in loves it's a blessing right. and, and so um it's just so important that we just learn how to be thankful yes. for whatever god does yes because uh, tiff had to be third yes she had to be third mm -hmm. she would have been before her time right. she would have been before the ministry that god gave her mm -hmm. byron had to be first brandon had to be second and so uh we're just thanking god you know but i'm still gonna wait and see if she popped little miss boston and and little miss blair i i, I tell y'all that on another show uh, i don't think she's gonna well, do you it you know there's always right ladies i know it. you can agree with me <laughs> it's just something about those little girls and you know even when trinity comes over there is something we can i can i feel really good because oh, i can make and impartations in them and you know and i'm i'm a girly girly trinity has always been a girly girl she has been a girl, right? And so to just see them, because we had grandsons, and then when we Trinity well, yeah. got here, then we had their Boston, and now we have Blair. So now, you know, I, you know, I just see us strolling down the Mag Mile yeah. and just girl, see, girl and teaching them the way that's of the Lord. What I was talking about. What do they have to learn on the Mag Mile? Well, they have to learn. You know, we teach them what etiquette. We teach them baby. self esteem. Absolutely, we have to take a but trip you know what? down but you know what? But to you the know what? Burberry store, Re and we have to go remember into the Chanel we to, stores. Uh, and remember yes. when we went to uh, Dubai? Yes, all oh, at mall. They had a whole floor they did. of children designer yes. baskets, yeah. pacifiers, all that kind of stuff, and she would. I don't think Blair, Blair no, 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 Boston, Boston had here. just gotten here, remember? No, 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 because Byron asked you to buy a dress 
in faith or something. He, she hadn't been born yet. Maybe not, right? Maybe not, because she's only two. Right, right. right. Yes. So, so over there, she was like, "Oh my God, I can't wait to little girl here. Oh my God, to say nothing about the little boys. Oh my God, I can't wait to little girl." You know, girls are just so, and our, our grandson is just so powerful. You know, thank God for them. They'll carry the the the, the lineage and the name. But the girls, isn't that something, ladies? You already know, right? We can just dress them so cute. But even and that, and you know, I'm so certainly a girly girl and I believe in that little princesses and all even with spiritual daughters but they know at the end of the day you know what there's no amount there's no purses there is no designer uh, clothes or whatever that would take the place of standards and good discipline you know so I, I take a joy because I've had I have a lot of spiritual daughters but you know my granddaughters now I'll be able to really you know uh, they came uh, down to the <laughs> pipeline uh, of our blood so I'm just okay. grateful ooh, okay ooh. we'll see we'll yeah. see <laughs> anyway but uh let's go over uh, we have our, our first grand, which is uh, Gianni, Gianni Joseph. Yeah. Gianni Joseph. Uh, we'll show you a picture of him. And then our second grand was uh, BJ, Byron. BJ Byron Jeremy. And then uh, our third one, this little fella. Oh, my God. His name is Grayson I Elijah yes. McGee. He needs prayer to him in Boston. And little Miss Boston, we have her. And then now we have uh, Blair little Miss Nova, Blair yes. Nova. Little yes. Miss Blair Nova. And we also have is it Trinity, 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 Trinity Monet, yes. Trinity Monet. Yes, Trinity Monet. Yeah, we Monet, have a picture yes. of her baby. So these are all the babies that have brought us joy yes. for the last few years. Now, uh, people say that I have favorites. I don't think I have no favorites. In fact, you taught me how to deal with favorites. How did I? What did I teach you? Let's hear it. You said. Gianni is the favorite Gianni. Exactly. BJ is it's the absent. favorite BJ. There you go. Trinity is the favorite Trinity. Uh, Grayson is the favorite Grayson. Boston. Uh, Boston and is the favorite Boston. And now and Blair. Blair is the favorite Blair. So because all they all have favorite. their places. Right. And they all bring us a different kind of joy. You know, and they have their little personalities. And even when we have to, you know, get a little aggressive with them, but yet they're just so beautiful. And, and, and that the BJ, laughter. He's so compassionate. Oh BJ. my goodness, BJ. Nani, are you okay, right, Dad? Are you okay? Yeah. He said, okay, Dad, I want you to be okay. Don't talk on the phone when you drive. <laughs> I want you to have an accident. Yes. He is so compassionate. But that Grayson, he got a new what, iPad. iPad yes. And he checks his FaceTime the Three. one, two in the morning. I'm like, why don't y'all take that thing away from him? Dad, I want you to talk to me. But uh, but out of all of it, they still bring so much joy. It brings so much joy, mm -hmm. as I know that your children or grandchildren does too. And we just have to take a delight in uh, what the Lord has given us. And our, as our family grows, it's yeah. such a blessing. We have to, you know, you can look at it like, oh, my God. You know, you can look at it in a drudgery, but you can also look at it from the Point that God has extended your family and this is our lineage and it's our job to make impartations positively and to raise them up and to show them what is right because at some point our children and our grandchildren rather will be our doctors and lawyers and who knows maybe our presidents as, as our own uh, former president uh, Obama so we don't know what we're doing when we sow the seed and, and make impartations and plant what is right with them because there's so much to contend with so they're cute and they're beautiful and princesses and prince but we are living in a very crucible time so we have to rise up and even as grandparents the bible says that that was lois lois who was timothy's grandmother and eunice which was his mom and so she is a product or she is an example of being a grandparent so it's just not a cute little thing it's a responsibility and thank god for godly grandparents or parents and uh, we, have to, we have to teach them and, and, what and, is good morals and standards and that's true but more important just thank God for the joy of having them that's right the that's joy right. of yeah. having them you know uh, we have a picture we're going to show y'all with uh, Gianni Grayson and their little sister they're all joy but you know you should just look at your own children stop 
noticing the uh, negative thing and the derogatory thing yes, that they yes. do, just say, God, I thank yes. you for the joy of having my family. And not only our, our joy, it's because we just got a new grandbaby, but right now it's graduation season. Yes, just, you know, yes, I have yes. joy. Don't worry about they can't have the typical graduation and, you know, can't have the typical graduation party. Be glad that they can have something. Yeah, and it's such an accomplishment. So they might not be able to be connected together intimately and, and walk across the stage, amen, but the fact that they've accomplished something. And, and to every single mom, or e even, whether, even to just a family, whether the dad is in the house or not, look at the accomplishment. It, 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 I know it wasn't easy all the time, but... They accomplish something. And if they're graduating, you are graduating. Because at some point, you had to make a sacrifice. You had to be there. You had to support them. And so we thank God for every graduate. Thank God for every person that have accomplished, whether you're graduating from preschool, kindergarten, or you're getting your PhD. We say congratulations to you and your uh, mom or your dad, your grandparents, or the whole family, congratulations. You know, and, and, and this is, it doesn't cost anything to give encouragement That's or right. to say something nice about anything. We all have some derogatory things yeah. that we could say. But on today, you know, I have to give, <clears throat> before I can get, get to my grandchildren and my children, I have to be and have joy about my wife. Mm -hmm. Because if it wasn't for her and our union, none of that would have happened. Not, none of that would have happened. So I'm, I'm just learning how to celebrate joy, yeah, yes. how to celebrate the moment, even in crisis time. Yeah. You know, just think on those things that are lovely, true, honored of a good report. If there's any virtue and there's a lot of praise, yeah, think on those things and just celebrate the joy of living. You know, uh, um, <clears throat> A lot of people would say, you know, when I think of his goodness and all he's done for me and my soul shout hallelujah, I thank God for saving me. But honestly, you don't have to think. Yeah, yeah. When your fingers move, <laughs> when your toes yeah. wiggle, when your body gets out of the bed, yeah. you know, when you lay flat on your back and you open your eyes and there's still a roof over your head, you don't even have to think. Before you even think of his goodness, see his goodness, see his, uh, uh, feel his goodness, you know, and just allow the joy of the Lord. Yet, it's some hard time, you know, dear, one of the things that really blessed me this week, there was, I didn't, I didn't get a name, but there was a young lady on the news that had been, uh, she contracted coronavirus and she's been in the hospital for 72 days. And on yesterday was the first day she got out to see her newborn baby. Yes, yes. She hadn't even held her newborn baby yes. in 72 days. So that's something to be joyful about. So and what I want to say, too, let's learn to be content. I think that we have to be intentional about that. This pandemic has taught all of us and, and resetting our priorities. Whereas we're thankful for June bug or we're thankful for they may again may not be walking the way that we think that they should be but they're still alive if the streets haven't killed them corona did not get them we've got to be intentional about our spirit of thanksgiving which brings in more so we're grateful for the mercies of god that have allowed us to be consumed so let's look at it from a positive uh perspective from the angle of positiveness and be grateful that God has blessed our family. And I really have joy because my wife been cooking up a storm for the last couple of weeks. Wow, really? Okay. And she can really well, cook. Well, let, let me just no, no, say no, no, this. No, 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 She can really cook and it, it just it, it, made, it, it created more togetherness. Now, I don't cook as good as she did, so I cooked some spaghetti the other week. What bad? And I, what and I bad? said, yeah. uh, Bernie, did you like it? It, it was nice. It wasn't bad, <laughs> you know. So you know how people say stuff to encourage you. So I'm saying, okay, I'm gonna see if she eats some more again. So she ate some more again. And I said, oh, maybe I didn't do too bad. Then the next day, she ate the last of it. I said, okay, all right, it must, it must be on point, you know. But I'm just getting joy. I'm a, I'm a messy cooker. You are. <laughs> <laughs> 
culture. I'm a messy cooker, but I'm just getting joy. We working together in the kitchen, you know, uh, cooking, enjoying each other's product, you know. And I was telling a pastor friend the other day, my wife made some uh, pole beans with potatoes and what else she put in there, turkey and ham. I said it was so good, made me want to go wake up my dead daddy in the graveyard. I hope not. <laughs> it was so good. But, you know, I'm just learning how to find things to be joyful. You have to find something. And if you, if you learn and retrain, reset your mind, I am telling you, the joy of living, the joy. And the things that we thought that we had to have, we really don't. Now, now you know what? You just we said really something. don't. The joy of living. Because we've learned how to do this. The joy of living. Everybody don't have joy They don't have the joy living. of living. Because we think happiness is about something that keeps happening for you. And we have learned, we're learning how to survive in a whole new way. And uh, let me piggyback on cooking. Oh, My sister and I was talking the <laughs> other day and she was like, oh, you, I, you know, I always call her the Martha and I'm the Mary, so to speak. But because Mary Mary did not cook or was not in the kitchen. It never said the scripture never said that she didn't know how. Because something is not discovered, <laughs> it does not mean that it does not exist. Okay. So uh, because I don't do it every day does not mean I don't know how. But, so but, yes. But the point was that you did it and it was great. Thank you. Thank you. And God maybe we want to go shake my dead daddy, daddy. No, let's leave him. God <laughs> bless him. I love him, but let's leave him right where he's but, at. But um, uh, it's just so wonderful yeah, to have joy during this time. So real quickly, before we end here, um, what, what, how can people who've lost their loved ones due to this virus have joy? Well, we, we definitely want to identify the fact that they will grieve and it will go. It's, it's a confusing time. It is a um, it, it can be a depressing time. It's a scary time, unsafe. And I, I honestly believe that you have to force feed yourself for a moment and uh, try to not hibernate to the point of, well, you don't even contact anyone, whether it's by Zoom, whether it's by FaceTime. I think that if you are uh, going through that type of place or that dark place, I want you to make sure that you get involved with something. It could be as simple as uh, working a, uh, a cross puzzle. You've got to keep your mind stimulated because if you don't use it, you start to die in depression and all of those other things. Uh, despondency, disillusionment comes in and causes you to just go further and further and further down. So you've got to press. It's not easy, but you can do this. And we are praying right along with you get out take a walk if it's nothing but around your house uh, put on some really positive music uh, uh, there's good jazz music out there uh, be accountable to someone where where is in put the morning friend, that uncle, you would uncle charlie huh <laughs> yeah <laughs> so so because god has you we don't have the answers we don't know when this whole thing is over but what we do know that when your heart and my heart our hearts our family's heart is overwhelmed god leads you to a rock that's higher than depression higher than grief and you're gonna come out of this you're not gonna lose your mind you, you're not gonna commit suicide god is gonna be your very present help in the time of trouble so <laughs> You know, get around someone that may be laughing. I know maybe you don't feel like it. Let them laugh for you. Let them hold your hand. Let them hear. Even when you don't want someone else to see all of your demise or your secrets, find somebody that would be accountable and say, you know what? However you feel like doing it today, I got a listening gear. I'm a valley walker. So, so, so in a sense, we have to... Learn to be joyful about the time we had. The time that we, yes, yes, yes. You know, the time we had. And so it's really what you make out of it from this point on because yes. I know about loss. My wife know about family loss, you know, and it is a grieving process, but at some point you got to just begin to reminisce about the good times, the laughter, the fun times, and that will help you. That's what it means. When the Bible says the joy of the Lord is your strength, thinking about those good times and things, it helps you to get through that dark season in your life. 
Well, dear, it's been a, a joy. It's been a joy. <laughs> yes. Having you on here today, uh, we talked about our present joy, our uh, a baby, Blair Nova yes. McKee, on whom we're going to see right after the telecast. But we are thanking God for all of his goodness. And listen, we thank God for you, to every graduate, to everyone that has made accomplishments, uh, to all those that are still on the front line, every policeman, every nurse, yes, every first responder, uh, one yes. that fire department, the workers, ambulance, yes. you know, all assistants, you know, even pastors and um, morticians, you know, they're all on the front line yes, as well. They are. So we're praying that God would. Uh, continue to sustain them, you, yes. protect you, and cover you with his blood, and that God will give you joy. Remember, the joy of, of the, the Lord, Lord is your, your strength. strength. God bless we you. We love you. God bless you. You just keep on keeping.